Allah say Ar-Rahman. You know what that means? You cannot be more merciful than that. That is the most extreme mercy, unlimited form of mercy beyond imagination. The other thing that comes from the language of this word Ar-Rahman is that it is happening right now. It is one thing to say Allah cares. It is one thing to say Allah is loving. It is one thing to say Allah protects. But it is another to say Allah is protecting me. When? Right now. He is caring about me right now. He is concerned with me right now. He delicate with my situation right now. That is the realization inside Ar-Rahman. It forces me to think and it forces you to think how is Allah showing me love right now? Immediately, not tomorrow, not later. Everyone has problem. Everyone of us has problem. Maybe you have family problem. Maybe you have children problem. Maybe you have parent problems, boss problem, government problem, economic problem, assignment problems. And we think about problems all the time. And we don't think about Rahman all the time. We only think about the problems. We don't think how many problems Allah saves us from. Somebody got allergies and they complain about their allergies, but they don't think the nose is still on your face. That's Allah taking care of you, my friends. It could be so much worse. There is so much worse that could happen. When a child is born, how many things can go wrong? For us of us that have all the children, we complain about the grades of our children. They don't pay attention in school, they don't do their homework on time. Parents complain and complain and complain all the time. But you know what? If you ever talk to parents who lost their child, if you ever talk to parents who lost a child, you know what they say about their children? They never say he never did his homework, he was late for school, he always ate too little, he was always watching TV. And they say, my children was so perfect. They were so perfect, he was the best. They only remember the good things about their children. Why is that? A day before you complained about your children, you were yelling at him. Because that is in human nature. We don't appreciate things that we have until they are gone. When they are gone, we remember them. Now, right now, we are not thinking of Allah. We are not realizing how much love Allah is showing us by protecting our children, by taking care of our family, by giving us our parents. Yes, your parents got angry at you. That is okay. It is global phenomenon. They get angry at you. Those of you that are teenage boys, your father gets mad at you. It is going to happen. He is going to yell at you. But you know what? Alhamdulillah, he is still alive. Alhamdulillah, if you have opportunity to show patience and sabar to him and respect him, so you can earn Jannah from Allah. If you want to know if you are humble or not, see how you are to your parents. If you have an attitude with your parents, don't think about Islam. You are not ready for what Islam demands for your personalities. Allah wants us to be humble, but humble does not mean you make salah like perfect believer, but you show bad attitude to your father and your mother. That is not humility. We have to learn to be humble to our parents even if you think they are unfair. Even if you think they are unfair. That is the part of appreciating the mercy and the love of Allah Azawajal in our lives. This is something that one should think about every day. Just stop when an Ar-Rahman and just think, what does that mean? What is Allah doing for me every day? SubhanAllah, that is care. Allah care and He care about every one of us. Sometimes people get depressed and think, Allah doesn't care about me. Why do I have all these problems? But then, you haven't thought about Ar-Rahman enough. You don't have to wait for his care to come. It is already there. It is already there.